Hello friends and welcome back to another episode of uh, Pokemon VGC 2020 Battle Series. My name is Lee, also known as Osiris, and in today's episode we are going to be featuring a team based around G-Max Toxtricity or Toxtricity and Covenite. So I took a little bit of inspiration from my good friend Costa. Uh, he was playing in the Players' Cup over the weekend a weakness policy, Covenite, and uh, after talking to him a little bit, it kind of inspired a few ideas. So we've got it in the team today. I feel like it can function well with these Pokemon. We're obviously going for a Tailwind kind of centered team. Uh, we do have a little bit of cover for Trick Room. We've got Taunt on the Talonflame, and then we've got the Amoongus to help us kind of disrupt my opponent and some Pokemon that are kind of like that middling speed tier like Primarina that can perform well in Trick Room and in Tailwind because we've got a little bit of speed investment on there. So there is a poker piece down in the description as always. Uh, check that out. You can see all the details of the sets of spreads and everything like that. And uh, as always, there will be a rental code at the end of this episode if you'd like to try this team out for yourself. So we will hop into it as always, have a couple of games and then have the rental at the end of the episode for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoy the episode as always if you do please remember to drop a like on the video do subscribe to the channel if you are new and um for more of this content of course and uh, obviously all the other content that we'll have coming out over the next few weeks because we got that big news yesterday about the crown tundra drop and if you haven't checked out all of the news from that i did do a live reaction and kind of an analysis afterwards of all that information and i'll uh, i'll link it up above for you guys to check out okay got a first opponent dusclop snorlax amoongus alolan marowak hatterene and gastrodon so pretty heavy trick room orientated team and the one bad thing about it is that we cannot taunt the hatterene if they go down that route um <laughs> with the hat so we need to be very careful tox has a very hard time here especially with the inclusion of lola marowak and gastrodon you think someone's trying to tell us something but uh, it might be difficult to bring it in this match and um, so we'll have to see what we can do i do feel like corvanite can be very good in this game uh, we do need to be very careful, of course, of the Amoongus, but if we can get a few boosts under our belt, it'll not be the worst thing. Uh, I obviously think Crocodile will be good as well, but it's very tricky because the hat obviously causes us and puts on a lot of pressure, even though we do have the Assault Vest there. I think we're going to have to go Corviknight. Do we go Taunt? Because then we could stop the Dusclops. That's the thing. We could go Corviknight Amoongus, to be honest. Um... Yeah, I really want to bring Talonflame, but I don't think I've got room for it. I think I need to bring these four Pokemon and go around that. This is going to be a very, very hard matchup. But we will see what we can do. Hat is not something I expect to see too much in Series 6 because it's just obviously not got its partner in crime and Deedee to help it. It's not as strong as it was in previous formats, um, even though we did feature it on a team uh, earlier in the week. And I still think it is very good, but... Um, yeah, this is the thing why we we brought the Amoongus. We can put the um, the Alola Marowak obviously causes us all sorts of issues, but we do kind of put them off almost setting that Trick Room up. Um, what we could do potentially as well is switch into Crocodile or Primarina. Uh, you would imagine the um, the Marowak is probably going to max and go for a Flare Blitz into, into Corviknight. So it's whether or not we want to bring in something like Crocodile, here, which might be quite nice. Keep Corviknight and Primarina a bit more healthy for later in this game because uh, the thing is, <clears throat> they're probably our two main max Pokemon. So, you know, there's the argument here where we could switch in Primarina here, but Primarina comes in, takes a bunch of damage, which it will from the, uh, the Alola Marowak. It's not going to be very effective if we want to max it later on in this match, and it might be the Pokemon that we kind of fall back on a little bit in this one. So, it's better to kind of preserve those max Pokemon or potential max Pokemon and uh, sack off the other ones, even though... Okay, we're going to see the uh, Flare Blitz into the Amoongus and the Trick Room set up. Okay, so the thing is, if this Dusclops doesn't have Taunt, there's no way for it to stop us going for a Spore into the Marowak slot. Now, there's a couple of options here. I do think maybe the Hatterene could come in uh, on that Marowak slot. That wouldn't be great for us, in all honesty. Um, so what we could do is kind of cover our bases. Cover our bases a little bit. The other thing to think about is obviously uh, Ally Switch. 
but I'm going to bring Corviknight back in, predicting maybe, worst case scenario, Hatterene comes in, and if it does, obviously we can't get the Spore into that slot, and Amoongus becomes a bit more threatened, but we, at the minute, the, the immediate threat is the uh, the Marowak, so we need to put that to sleep. Dusclops switching out, we are going to see Hat come in, so we actually guessed the slot right, we've uh, hopefully got no ally switching, you know, Marowak can ally switch, so there is a threat there, always, you've got to think about, uh, we'll bring Corviknight back in, Amoongus will underspeed the, uh, the Marowak, so we will be able to put it to sleep, and uh, kind of safe in thinking that it's going to hold that thick club as well, so be able to shut that down, and at least we get Corviknight back onto the field, and you know it's going to be able to, uh, to put a bit of pressure onto this Hatterene, Okay, so I think what we'll do, they might we might see a max flare. We might see a max flare. That is the that is very possible. Um, but without the sun, the Marowak's gonna have. Mm, it could wake up. It could wake up. That would be the worst case scenario. So worst case scenario here is they max flare into Corviknight, um, and then they go for a flare blitz as well. Now we don't want to lose a Moongus. So I think what we could do is max steel spike. They might even go for a max mind storm into the Amoongus, you know, it is kind of uh, to get their psychic terrain up, to boost their attacks later in this game. So we may be able to catch them off guard with a, a Crocodile Switch. We've got to try and be a little bit smart here. Like I say, it's a really bad matchup for us. So, um, and the, the Steel Spike, if we can get it off untouched from this Marowak, uh, will just give us a little bit a better, better time against it. Obviously, uh, if they're minus two already with the Intimidate drops, doesn't look like the hat is going to actually max here, so that's interesting. Um, I don't see them going for a Dazzling Gleam, though. They're going to go for, like... It's interesting that they're not maxing, though. Unless they're protecting here. Which, again, I don't mind at all. Um, unless they just got Mystic Fire, and that is ideal. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, <laughs> Mystic Fire, is it into the Amoonga slot? It is, okay. That's a little bit of a shame. We wanted that weakness policy proc. That was the thing that we're wanting really here. Uh, the Marowak, thankfully, does stay asleep for an extra turn, so that's that's very good as we get a defense boost with our Corviknight, and do take down the Hatterene. That was a lot easier than it should have been, to be honest. Uh, okay, critical hit. Maybe that mattered. Maybe that mattered. We'd have to do the calc on that. Um, all right, so things getting a little bit easier now for us, a little bit easier. Um, and like I was saying before, you know, I didn't want to switch in Primarina in those awkward situations where it potentially could have been a max Pokemon at that point of the game. Um, now I feel a bit freer knowing that Corviknight is going to be a max Pokemon uh, to kind of go go with that. And I think Primarina is a perfect switch and it means we can cycle the Intimidate a little bit more. Also means that we could potentially switch back into Amoongus now um, and shuck out an Airstream into the Marowak. So I think what we will do is, is go for that, to be honest. I think Amoongus is a little bit better here. Could see maybe a double up if that Marowak does uh, wake up, but not gonna see that it is gonna switch out to the Dusclops coming back out again, which is fine. And uh, detecting the, the weakness policy there on a Corvid Knight, obviously, probably why we didn't see the uh, the Mystic Fire go into that earlier on from the hat. Um, but we get Amoongus back onto the field, perfect position against this uh, Gastrodon, as we've seen Ice Beam, so that's an, that covers everything. That's why the Primarina would have been maybe a little bit of a better switch there, you know, and the critical hit, not ideal at all. We are gonna get an Airstream, not helping us in our current climate with the uh, the trick room up, but we do put a lot of pressure onto that Gastrodon. And what we could maybe do this next turn is, I mean, it's probably better that we pressure the Dusclops because we don't want another trick room being set up, to be honest. We've got one turn of trick room left. Uh, yeah, so I think we go for another Airstream um, and we go for another Spore. Because the Gastrodon's got to feel pressured here. Uh, that's the thing that we're kind of relying on. Our opponent protecting, maybe. Ooh, helping hand. Okay, they're going Ice Beam. They're going to get rid of the Amoongus. Not the end of the world for us at all. They can still max. But we are going to lose. Huh. How did that go before us? Hmm. Hmm. Is that like Iron Ball? Gastrodon? Potentially. That's mad. Okay. Well, either way. The Dusclops is definitely in range now for us to double into it. I'm going to bring in Primarina. It's going to be our big Mon to help us deal with 
uh, both the Gastrodon and the Marowak, to be honest. But I think we need the power here to, um, and we need the Intimidate in the back, help us against the Marowak a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll double in on the Dusclops. Could maybe see the Gastrodon. We, well, we know the Gastrodon is going to go last. Uh, we can't really use our water type moves here, so we're a little bit stuck. We can use Hyper Voice if Marowak does come back onto the field, so we do have that option. Um, but we will boost the Gastrodon, so we've got to be a bit mindful of that, and we don't want to be swept by Gastro. But we want to remove the Trick Room element from my opponent's team here, that's the thing. If they ally switch, that's fine, it means the Dusclops isn't attacking or uh, using Helping Hand this to um, Trick Room this turn, as it does help in hand. It's going to Earth Power, I think. Maybe even Scald into uh, Covert Knight. <clears throat> but we are going to get the Brave Bird. That's perfect. Okay, so we get the KO there. I didn't know if it would quite get it. So we do get it. That's good. Moonblast. Hopefully we get a special attack drop. Because that would be huge for us here. Especially after the help in hand. And that's going to two-hit KO. So that's ideal anyway. Scald. Okay. There's a lot of damage. But no burn, no burn. So we get lucky, we get lucky, uh, which is nice. Um, hmm. Maybe we roost here. Maybe we roost. Mm, what do we do? I don't know if the Gastrodon's got Protect, though. That's the thing. Like, has the Gastrodon got Protect? I don't know if it has. We could just roost. The only thing I would worry about potentially is the Gastrodon maxing here. Go Max Quake into Primarina. Get the Special Defense boost. Puts Marowak in a better position, and I mean, we have got a defense boost, so we should take a Flare Blitz from the, the Marowak. Yeah, they're maxing the Gastrodon. The idea here is what we could have potentially done is just doubled into Gastrodon. I don't know if Moonblast plus Brave Bird would have been enough, but I don't think they're going to be able to take down um, Primarina here with Gastrodon. Um, I don't think you worry too much about Corvin Knight. Unless they predict us roosting here, and then Max Quake into Corvent Knight. And now that would be a play. And I will take my hat off. My 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 imaginary hat. If my opponent makes that play. Oof, it's very close. Okay, we get a crit. That's that's huge for us. That's huge. Um, Procaberry. Okay, so I think that... Is it? Is it Citrus? No, it's a Guav. I think if we Brave Birded there... Mm, nah, 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 nah. We would have needed the crit as well. It's going for the geyser, though, into Corvin Knight. Okay. Without the rain, we should take this. It kind of... It, it makes Marowak way less potent. And now we can double into the Gastrodon. Um, unless it max gods here, and they're kind of relying on... Marowak waking up. But I mean, we do have Crocodile in the back, and the rain's up now. So that it's only real main way to, to attack Crocodile was the Flare Blitz. Without the rain... Yeah, we're going to see the max guard. Okay. Marowak probably wakes up here. Probably get Crocodile back onto the field. Um, but they need to take down Primarina, like, over everything else, in all honesty. Um, yeah. Hold two, guys. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, I mean... We dodged the Poltergeist. We've had some nice RNG here. I mean, it's pretty brutal for my opponent as they just cancel, yeah. Fed up, fed up. I I understand that. I feel that. I feel that. So, um, Poltergeist would it have taken us down. I don't know if it would have. It would have definitely put us very close to being taken down. I think it would have been close from there because we still would have had Corviknight and then Krugadal to come in. We could have just doubled and then, yeah, I don't think the Marowak's in a position minus one at that point to take down Krugadal, but... You never know. Anyway, good game to my opponent. Although they will probably say bad game. Uh, let's have a look at their team. Let's see. They got the Dusclops. Oh, they do have our ally switch. So we did we did think that they got uh, the Belly Drum Snorlax. Snorlax is something I'd like to feature as well. Uh, so if you'd like to see a Snorlax team, do let me know. I, uh, I have been talking with... Um, Oh, Dexter. Dexter Morgan, I think, is his username. Sorry if it's wrong, but uh, he's been playing Snorlax. I think we featured him on the channel last week, uh, and he's been raving about Snorlax. So it would be something cool to uh, to feature for sure. So if you would like to see that, do let me know in the comments section, and uh, I'll put something together with it, because I think Snorlax has definitely been slept on Series 6. It's still a beast, you know. It's always a beast in whatever format you can kind of you bring it in. So um, it would be nice to see if we can get 
something put together with it. And hopefully this next one, as we find our next opponent, we can bring the toxicity, which this team is all about. Um, <laughs> maybe, maybe because the Charizard doesn't like tox too much, but we'll see. Uh, okay, we've got Togemaru, Charizard, Sableye, Ninetales, Clefairy, and Drake Assault. So lots of support around lots of heavy hitters. Speed control. You're going to look at Airstream's Nuzzle from the... Uh, well, Airstream's from the Charizard, Nuzzle from the Togemaru as your main ways of speed control. So it does give us an advantage in in regards to maybe going Talonflame, Tailwind. Got to watch out for the Togodomaru though. That's the that's the big thing that we need to be very careful of. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I really like Talonflame, Primarina. It's just I don't think we're going to be able to get a Tailwind off because we don't have Protect on this one. Like if we had Protect Talonflame here, it would make it a lot easier. It's maybe like we need to. Um. I mean, Crocodile's not bad. Hook's not bad, but it will pro it'll take it. It's not going to stand up to. Okay, what we're going to do is bring Primarina. We're going to bring. We're going to bring Crocodile. Crocodile, yeah. Crocodile, Talonflame, and Toxicity. Let's bring Tox to this one. We got to bring Tox. I don't know if it's the right choice, but we will bring it anyway and see what we can do. So I'm kind of haven't, I think because of the fake up from the Togo tomorrow, what we're going to have to do is try and bait in um, a fire, the, the blast burn into the Crocodile slot, switch that turn into Talonflame. Then the next turn we can tail and get Primarina in the rain and nuke. Hopefully the Togo tomorrow, we're not going to see that, which is interesting. Hmm. Very interesting. No Charizard, which... I like. I like a lot. Okay. Well, we've got Crocodile out on the field. That's fine. The Intimidate is perfect into that Drake result. So I think what we're going to do this turn is just protect from Marina. And we'll go for a Bulldoze. And we'll drop the speed of everything on my opponent's side of the field. By one Snooge. Uh, they may switch into Charizard here, but it's uh, still not the end of the world. We've still got that play that we were talking about as we were coming into this game. Um, but if we can reduce the speed on this Drake result... We still have to think about um, Quash. Quash is still a bit of an issue. For sure. But we can approach the next turn. We'll see what my opponent goes for. You may just see a fake out. Uh, they are maxing, which is interesting. Are they air streaming into Crocodile. Or are they going to just go for the electric? Max. Max. Um, I don't even know what it's called. I can't even think. I hate that when your mind goes blank and you're like, what is that max move? The electric one? Max lightning. There we go. <laughs> okay, so we get the protect with Prim. Ally switch. Ally switch. Oh, come on. Turn one ally switch. Okay. We're not a PZ. I can forgive it for PZ. I can't forgive it for anything else. We'll get the bulldoze off. Hopefully it's not weakness policy. That would be bad. That would be <laughs> that would be very bad. We might need to max Crocodile. It's gone for the lightning. Yeah, it's into Prim. Are you actually kidding? Critical hit. Well, that party ended. Huh. Well, pretty quickly. Um, mm. yeah, it's not looking so hot right now, is it? Um, hmm, <laughs> I don't know what to do now. I'm like, well, that's that's that done. Um, okay, well, we could maybe bring in Tox. Max Quake, we've got to, to worry about um, the Allied Switch again. Are they going to go for it again? Because <sighs> we could taunt the Sableye, um, but there's always a chance that they're going to Max Quake us. Or do we make a call? Do we make a call for... Do we just overdrive? Do we just overdrive? Overdrive. I just worry about the Quash. That is the big thing. Like They're going to Quash Crook. That's what I worry about. Um, let's go Quake. 
Let's go. We're going to have to max Crocodile. I'm sorry, Toxtricity, but needs must after that first turn. It was all going to be Primarina. Uh, I was going to get Primarina into a great spot and go from there. Too worried about the Quash, though. That's why we went for it. I didn't expect a crit, though. Um, and then Toxrider would probably be in our maximum in the back, potentially. But not turning out so good right now. But we'll protect Toxtricity, hopefully. Hopefully you don't get crit. We have got the Sash there, so we should be all right. There's a the Quash. We did expect that. Um, it's into Toxtricity, which makes no sense. I mean, they can't Quash the Crocodile, actually. More thinking about it, we are a dark type. So um, we get rid of the Draco Zolt pretty handily. Um, and we get the Special Defense Boost, which is going to help us massively if we see something like Charizard come in. Because they're undoubtedly going to try and set the sun up. But the Electric Terrain set up for us. So, Overdrive is going to do a huge chunk of damage. And we got Max Darkness as well, which really pairs nicely with the, the Toxicity. Okay, Clefairy. Okay, well, well, well. I think we Overdrive. And, yeah, I think we Overdrive. And we... Probably Max Quake again, to be honest. Because it could ally switch here. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go Max Quake again into the Clefairy. I mean, they could... Okay, wow. No words. No words. It looks like we're going to have a third game today. Because we're, <laughs> we're, we're only 20 minutes in. So I feel like we can't end the episode like that, can we? Um, they just didn't have a way to win after that. Even, even after creating our Prim. Okay, well, let's carry on, friends. Let's have one more. One more for, uh, we'll, we'll try. Third time lucky for this Toxicity. We can try and get it going today. Let's see. Um, right, we've got our next opponent. 1740. Playing, oh, that's another. It's like the, 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 the Sun Brothers are playing today. Uh, another Sun team. Okay, but Wigglytuff this time. Interesting. I like Wigglytuff. Gets competitive. Um, so we got Nine Tails, Charizard, Snorlax, Dusclops, Wigglytuff, and Bronzong. Um, trick root, heavy trick root mode in here with with like what will support the Wigglytuff and the um, the Snorlax, and then you've got that really really hyper offensive Sun mode. No fake out, so we can make use of our Talent Flame here with Tailwind as an option, Taunt as an option as well onto things like Dusclops, Bronzong, and Snorlax. Um, so where we want to go from there? Like what Max Mon do we want to go with? We want to go with Tox. Like, Tox is quite good here, to be honest. Like, we can... Um, obviously, we can't change the rain. Obviously, the, the, the one that you want to probably go for is Primarina um, here. But we do need to have some countermeasures against, like, Snorlax and that Trick Room mod. But, I mean, we can bring Amoongus. But maybe it's better to keep Primarina for maybe later on in the game. Corviknight as well. If we can get rid of the Sun Call, Corviknight is incredibly good. Um, okay, let's go because we haven't brought it. It's going to be the last game. Let's go Corv in the back with Amoongus and lock in. We're not bringing Primarina, which seems madness. But for the sake of this episode, for the sake of you guys at home, uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun in this last one. We're going to try and max Toxicity and get some uh, get some action out of it going into this next one. So let's see if we can get it going. I do really like Toxicity. It's a cool Pokemon. It's got very cool design. It, the whole backstory to its its design and, and, and everything around it is very cool. Um, so it's nice to be able to use it. I don't feel like it's one of the strongest Pokemon. I think it needed a little bit more speed uh, in all honesty. But never mind. Nonetheless, it's all right. Uh, okay, so we've got uh, uh, Wigglytuff. I want to say Clef <laughs> Clefable there or Clefairy, but no, it's just the other pink one. The one that's not used so much, but it's still very cool. It's so bulky as well. Uh, Wigglytuff. I hope it hasn't got a weakness policy. I really do. I really hope it hasn't got a weakness policy. We're going to taunt the Dusclops because we don't want... Um, we got double taunt here. Um, we'll max... Do I go max ooze now? And then we can stun shock after this. Yeah, let's do that. Let's max ooze it first. Proc that weakness policy. Come on, let's do it. We've got the sash. <laughs> We're all right. Um, let's do it. Okay, let's pull the trigger, turn one. Um, and see what see what happens. The wiggly tough gonna max. Be interesting if it does. Um 
There we go. Big G Max Toxicity. One of my favorite shinies I've got from this game as well. Ally switch into the Wigglytuff. So they're getting their trick room up. Whatever happens. And we'll get a, a cheeky little taunt onto the uh, the Wigglytuff. Turn, turn, these turn one ally switches are, uh, are, are real. Let me do minimal damage to the Dusclops. Okay, well. Get a special special attack boost, which is always always good. We're going to have to play around this trick room like our lives depend on it now. Um, I think we will. We'll go for a taunt into the Dusclops while we can. Um... Probably want to max ooze again into... I'm probably going to ally switch with bloody Dusclops here. I can guarantee it. I can guarantee it. We'll go for another max ooze, get another attack boost. And then we'll try the stun shocks the next turn. Just a helping hand. Okay, that's fine. They're probably going to Thunderbolt into... Or Hyper Voice even. Maybe. I don't know. What we're going to... Yeah. A Hyper Beam. Dear Lord. <laughs> Oh, well, we're going to take down this uh, this life orbed Wigglytuff. Seen it all, folks. We've seen it all. We do get rid of it, thankfully. Um, what are we going to see from this Dusclops? Oh, it helped in hand, it didn't it? Help in hand. No, that's fine. Let's get another special attack boost. So, I mean, Toxicity is pretty well powered up now. We just need to, uh, yeah, we'll bring in Amoongus because we can start putting things to sleep, which is always. Which is always handy. And the nice thing about GMAX Toxicity is uh, it doesn't have uh, the electric terrain to kind of counteract our, uh, our spores. And uh, Bronzong coming in. Bronzong going to be the slower of the two. It is a little bit speedier than Amoongus. So we'll spore that slot and we'll go for the GMAX Stun Shock into the Dusclops. The nice thing here is obviously you have to worry about us paralyzing the, the bronze on because we can't poison it. Um, but we are going after we put it to sleep. So it, it's all right, really. It kind of works out okay. If they ally switch here. Um, there's a nice, was a really interesting bronze on set that I've seen recently. Uh, a few Japanese players played it in the Players' Cup and it was um, Meteor Beam. Uh, Bronzong and it was just disgusting to play against it was horrible honestly uh, so it'll be interesting to see we are going to see Max Bronzong interestingly enough has it got the safety goggles or has it got a lum interesting to see I don't know it could be heat proof as well I don't know what it is we don't know it's gone for the max guard though um okay well is Dusclops going to taunt Aramungus no, it's reversing the trick room, which seems madness. Okay, well, it hangs on barely, which is perfect for us right now, because this next turn... um, Okay. Uh, they are paralyzed. Okay. Please that the, the, the effect doesn't go through Max Guard, because that would have been really bad for us. Um, now, the Bronzong is going to be able to attack us, but we are going to be able to put it to sleep. And we can just go for an overdrive here. Because what... Yeah, whatever happens, we take down the Dusclops. Do a good chunk to the Bronzong. And put the Bronzong to sleep. Gonna, it, the ally switch doesn't matter here. Because we're going to going first. So it, it's like... It's super... No. Wait there. What? 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 They, I'm so confused. Did the trick room not go up originally? Okay. Well, this is still fine. Okay, if the trick room's up, they're steel spiking. That's fine. Ha! Huh? I'm super confused. Okay, I should have been paying more attention to this. This looks really bad, the video. <laughs> I can't even go back and edit this. <laughs> that would just be such a mess. All right, so we're in trick room now. Ha! Huh. I'm very confused. Okay, I thought they already had the trick room set up. But obviously not. Hmm. Okay. Well, we can we can spore the Bronzong. Um, let's just check what the situation is. This is the last turn of Trick Room. Huh. Okay. Why am I just dreaming that they didn't set up the Trick Room? Are they going to max guard? Are they going to max guard and belly drum? I mean, even if the... It's risky belly drumming at this stage of the match because... Um, yeah. 
the, the trick room's ending, so we'll get two hits off regardless with Toxicity, unless they double into it. Well, they can't double into us here. They're going to go into the Among Us, so that's fine, um, because we should be able to take down this Bronzong in two hits now um, with the Overdrive damage that we did the previous turn. We are plus two. Yeah, I mean, 50% of the Snorlax is just so nice, isn't it? And we got Corviknight to come in, so I think we're going to be super fine. Dimensions turn back to normal. Uh, and we'll get Corv back onto the field. And this has worked out all right, even though I've been like super confused through all of this, thinking Trick Room is up. Well, it was up. I just thought it was reversed. I just don't understand what which bar, part of the match, which part of the screen was I looking at? And, and Dusclops didn't reverse the Trick Room, and I thought it did. This is how my mind works, peeps. Just nuts. Um. Okay, well, I mean, you just Iron Head. Snorlax and yeah we'll overdrive and that will be more than enough to close this one up for us and Toxicity doing some awesome damage and the third battle cancellation in a row there we go nothing to write home about but very nice results for the team you see that I'm pleased the team has done very well today we got a bit lucky in that first one with a few good RNG rolls but the, the second two matches I think the team's really shown how well it can uh, can perform so if you do try it, like I always say, please let me know down in the comments below if you do try the team out. I love to hear uh, how you've got on with the team and if it's inspired any ideas, even just the video today and the matches that you've seen, if it's inspired any ideas, do let me know. I would love to hear about it. Okay, which team am we going to have to drop? Probably the Salazzle one because uh, it is the oldest out of all of them. So like I always say with these, I'm taking them down. I have a second switch. I can move these teams across to there if you've got any requests. Do let me know. I have just put the um, the Gudra Lapras team, uh, not the, the Bufalant one, up. Uh, I've just put that one back up on my second switch. So if you want the code for that, let me know and I'll post it. And uh, you guys can still play around with that while it's still up. There's a team that I'm in the middle of building. Fitting for today after all the sun we played. Um, Cherim's interesting. I do like Cherim. It's a cool Pokemon. Um, and this is the team. This is the team. Here we go. So we want to make it public. For all you fine people out there that want to try this. I think it's fun. I think it's a really fun team. So I hope you do have fun with it if you do try it. Um, and obviously you can see the different... There's lots of different modes to the team. It's very flexible um, and glued together with some really cool combinations. Like Crocodile works so well with things like Corviknight and um, obviously Talonflame. And um, helps against so many threats to things like Primarina and stuff like that. So uh, there's lots going on there. Um, okay. There we go, friends. There is the code 000006 0006 K03G5F. There's a code if we ever had one. I hope you've enjoyed today's episode. Sorry for the crazy trick room mind games that I was playing on myself in that last game. It happens sometimes. and just way over indulgent and talking and excited about getting this episode up for you. And uh, also excited about Crown Tundra and all the new Pokemon that we're going to have and a new series starting probably on the 1st of November. So lots of things to look forward to. I've got lots of content in the pipeline. We're going to do a bit, of, a bit of a similar setup to what we did with Series 6 and get a bunch of teams ready for you guys as soon as the format starts so you can jump on, stop practicing and get yourselves into the groove with that new format. Um, but we're going to end it up there i think that about does it for today again if you've enjoyed the episode do drop a like on the uh, on the video it really does help if you are new hopefully you like the content enough and want to see more of it and hit that subscribe button um and uh, i will just say hope you all have a great rest of your day make sure you take care of yourselves be kind to yourselves be kind to each other and i'll see you all for the next one so until then my friends take care of yourselves and bye bye